insight about this big widespread winter storm. Thanks, Jeff. We're going to be looking at this storm in depth, and Jeff is actually going to be in a spot through the afternoon that's going to see some of the heaviest snow. Let's take you right to the map and show you a wide angle radar. And on this, I will show you a couple of features. First of all, we have primary low in the, the uh, lower Ohio Valley, another one that's getting going in the Delmarva, and those two in tandem will be moving on off, both of them, to the northeast in time. But notice the wide area of snowfall affecting areas from the plains all the way into the northeast. Also notice this area of dry air moving through the northern Ohio Valley, providing a break for some cities, including Chicago and Detroit. Let's take you into the Chicago area and show you that drier air has moved in. So the snow has tapered off some from the city southward, but don't get fooled in Chicago. This is moderate to heavy snow back across eastern Iowa. And as we head on through the late afternoon, that will continue to swing on east so you get back into the heavier snow and accumulating snow as we head through the rush hour and into the evening hours in Chicago. Same thing going on in Detroit. We're watching that dry air move toward the Motor City, and so we'll see the snow tapering off in the next hour or two. But even there, we'll get back into the tail of the snow that's back across Iowa. That won't happen until after dark in Detroit. Now in Washington, we're seeing a break across uh, the area, particularly south of town, and that will continue to be the case right on through the afternoon hours and farther up toward New York. In the heavy snow now, going to remain there for several more hours, right on through mid to late afternoon, when you'll start to mix with some sleet and freezing rain at that time. Boston, it will be starting momentarily within the next hour, we think. Now let's get back to the studio and Mark. Okay, thank you, Colin. And as we take a look again at the heavier snow today, spreading through lower Michigan, developing across the southern tier of New York and across southern New England. And Jeff, of course, bringing up an important note, the sun uh, being high in the sky right now. So on the uh, major thoroughfares that have been salted, very hard to accumulate any snows during the daylight hours. But after 4.30 or so, as that sun gets low on the horizon there, lose that uh, solar insulation. So you start to see more problems with sticking. So that's going to be a big problem in Massachusetts tonight. So here's a look at those temperatures. Notice warming Philly, New York, so changeover. Ditto that for Pittsburgh, Detroit, Buffalo, to Boston, though. Trouble uh, with a capital T in terms of heavy snows. Now let's check out the Midwest, which has been sloppy. Here's Kelly. Well, Mark, we've got trouble in the upper Midwest as well. Washington International Airport and south to Saint, and down to uh, Houston here. So check ahead with your favorite airline, see how things are progressing. Uh, widespread storm here, stretching all the way across from Missouri to the New Jersey coast. Snow and ice to the north to the south. Heavy rain in the Ohio Valley. Strong to severe storms erupting in Arkansas. As you can see on the national radar satellite, snow stretches all the way from southeast Nebraska now into eastern Massachusetts. South of here, heavy downpours coming up to South Jersey and really torrential rains in Kentucky. Thunderstorms uh, uh, producing uh, high winds and hail now, Arkansas southwestward to extreme northeast Texas. In Philly, it's still snowing, snowing hard in New York City. Snow's coming into uh, Hartford right now in Providence. Boston will be snowing soon. Snow is uh, showing up uh, I-80 northward. South of here, change over to sleet and freezing rain, Johnstown, Altoona, and into Pittsburgh, Columbus, after all the ice changing to rain. Columbus, uh, northward, though, is going to be difficult as we have an ice zone around Akron, Canton. In Cleveland, there's been one inch snow accumulation. Detroit, it's snowing, and uh, Christian Dodd tells us there's been one to two inches. Now, as we take it to the Midwest, Bill Keneally tells us two to Massachusetts, about 50 miles west of Boston, and oftentimes, you don't have to get too far away from the city to see that rain snow line. And right now, we feel like, uh, at least here and along the Massachusetts Turnpike, which is where we are, and to the north, we will be mostly snow. And we're looking for about 6 to 12 inches, uh, well, just about one of, inch, one of those inches, which has already fallen here uh, in the last hour or so. So we're almost snowing at about an inch an hour right now. A very heavily traveled Route 9. The headlights you see are all eastbound traffic on Route 9, which parallels the Massachusetts Turnpike. And a lot of these uh, roads, of course, are kept very, very salted, and the fact that they're so heavily traveled keeps them mostly wet. But we have three lanes here. The first two lanes, as you can see, are wet. But if you go over to that third lane where they haven't salted, it's all slush covered. And that's what you're going to see on a lot of the secondary roads and a lot of the streets. And no doubt that heading out of Boston this afternoon is going to be an absolute disaster. Now, we should start to see a lot more tail lights as the rush hour uh, begins to unfold out of the Boston area. But it is going to be miserable here with this three-quarter of a mile to half-mile visibility that we have, not only on the roads, but also at the airports. The good news is a lot of the afternoon activities at schools, as, also, as well as daycare, have been canceled. So hopefully folks heeded that and headed home early today. And I guess uh, the word of the wise here is to keep at the least traffic we can uh, on the roads. Let's just keep everybody off the roads as we go on tonight. 
Speaking of a messy rush hour, let's go north of New York City, just north in White Plains, and get an update from Jeff Morrow. Jeff? And hello very much. Thank you, Jim Cantori. And it is a messy rush hour, no doubt about it. We're starting to get in toward the rush hour. We already have at least three inches of snow on the ground, uh, somewhere between three and maybe four. Sleet has mixed in here. It's not all sleet. There's still plenty of snow falling. I'd say mostly snow at this point, but some sleet fell in there too, which is starting to indicate maybe a little bit of that changeover that we've been talking about. Let's go ahead and pan over here and show you uh, some of the roadways out across uh, uh, White Plains. This is uh, Main Street, and you can see how some of the sidewalks still pretty much snow covered. Uh, they have been out plowing the sidewalks and putting some sand and salt down. The roadways, though, are a slushy mess. There's no two ways about it. There's plenty of slush on the ground and on the, on the road, so uh, we're not looking for a lot of melting here. And as long as this precipitation keeps coming down the way it is, we're going to be talking about more in the way of accumulation even on the roads. No melting here. Now, as far as what's going to be happening this evening, we do expect a change over to mostly sleet and freezing rain, as has already occurred in New York City, to be occurring here as well. So that will probably happen as we head a little bit later on into this afternoon and on into this evening, and then maybe just a very chilly rain as we head on through tonight. We'll keep you updated. It is very messy here, very wintry. Winter definitely not over yet in Westchester County. Now let's get back to Jeanette in the studio. All right, thanks, guys, for those live reports. Across the northeast, you can see a swath of snow that's occurring in this area. And, of course, the changeover starting a little farther to the south of New York City, back towards Philadelphia. It's going to be a messy night for you in Chicago as the snow is picking back valley. And it's going to make a mess for evening rush hour traffic anywhere from Chicago to New York City over towards Boston. But by tomorrow morning, you can see here that area of low pressure continues to slide off. Just off the New England coastline, a second area of low pressure does develop right across parts of um, West Virginia and Southern Pennsylvania. High pressure builds in across the nation's midsection and Chicago does quiet down. And that'll give them some time to dig out from the snow. By Saturday evening, you can see here that second area of low pressure will continue to pull in some more moisture across Pennsylvania. Still looks rather dicey as you head up into the Northeast for parts of New York State and especially as you head up into New England. Take a look here at the precipitation forecast. You'll notice here that um, over parts, the heaviest amounts of snow will actually be from northern Illinois all the way over into parts of Pennsylvania and New York State, but the heaviest amounts of rain will be well to the south. Still to come, we're going to be talking more about the radars and where the severe weather is.